Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzitter7 here again, and welcome to another Divination Progress video. Where I'm just going to update you guys on how I'm doing on the newest skill, as well as give you guys any more tips and, uh, you know, just helpful things that you should know uh, to do while you're training. So I'm here at the er area near the Mage Training Arena, and I am currently level 81 Divination. This is the level 80 location, and um, yeah, it's it's pretty weird because uh, this is just one thing I want to mention the XP rates didn't really change much between here and Canifis when I moved here because if uh, I pull up this chart that the rune wiki has um, you can see every level you go up by one experience for harvesting the parentheses is enriched so just ignore that and um, you know you don't go up by much on this side of things but here it starts going a little bit more, like 5, 7, you know, 6 right there. Right here it's five, 7 again. And then from here to here it's only 3. And from here to here it's only 3 again. So the experience rates are not going to be that big of a difference. I mean, right here you can see I've only gained 3 extra experience rates. And of course, when I deposit mine, it's... um it's 39 because I used I made my boon so yeah that's but I had my boon here as well so I got 35 at, at Canifis so I mean from vibrant to lustrous there's a big difference well I mean big in terms of divination really and then from lustrous to brilliant there's a really small difference comparatively so I don't know it's not that big a difference in experience rates so it's like not a big change and uh, it's not going to be much faster but I'm pretty happy that I'm here now because I, I'm in the areas that you only have to spend five levels at each because there's a level for, there's an area from 80 to 85 then 85 to 90 90 to 95 95 to 99 so that's good that's gonna make it a little bit easier because I won't have to stay here for the whole 10 levels like before another thing I like about this area is that most of these people are high level uh, high total level and lots of them don't go after the uh, chronicle fragments so I've been catching tons of them lately and just destroying them because it's kind of hard to get back to this location I mean I could use a fairy ring I think that's the polypore dungeon over there and um, won't run back there or I could use the dueling ring but I think it's kind of a an annoying location to get back to so I've just been destroying them and I actually have gotten a ton of Hunter experience. I'm only 483k till 95, which um, I was f I got like 93 to 94 off of just the Chronicle Fragments. And I started, you know, I was like 850k until 95, and now I'm like almost halfway there. So the Chronicle Fragments are definitely good Hunter experience if you can get a lot of them. And um, yeah, I'd, I highly recommend always catching those if you can. Um, but yeah, let me just keep looking here. See, once you get up into these levels, the experience rates don't jump very much. From Lustrous Civilian is three, then it's three again, three again. No, that one's actually four, but then three again. So I don't know. It's uh, it's probably gonna be a, a long grind to get up to ninety nine. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep at it for now. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go straight for it, but I'm still enjoying the skill as far as uh training it goes it's still pretty fun for me I enjoy it and um, one thing I actually like more about this place uh, rather than cannabis is the energy I like that co this color of energy it's nice and uh, bright I like the, I don't know I'm, just, it's, I'm weird but I, I do like it um, I think I left cannabis with like 50k lustrous energy and um, it kind of sucks because energy isn't really going for that much anymore. I think the brilliant that I have here is 400 or 500 each, which is st still pretty good, but um, not a lot of people really are buying it. And um, I don't know. I I just I just wish I could have made it here quicker when the energy was still really good money. That would have been would have been nice to get some extra money for training this skill, but. Oh well, I sold off all my lower level energies in the GE just because, I don't know, I didn't really feel like keeping them in my bank and they were just sort of sitting there and I don't know, they were, I don't know, I don't think the next skill is going to use energies like I mentioned in uh, the last progress video, so I could be wrong and 
If so, well, then I could just buy some energies when it comes out. I don't know. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much most of what I had to say about the divination in this progress video. I, I don't know. I don't really... I can't really think of anything else. Um, it's pretty much confirmed that the enriched springs spawn every 20 minutes. Um, at They spawn on the hour, 20 past the hour, and then 40 minutes past the hour, and then on the hour again. That's sort of their loop that uh, they spawn in. So, yeah, if you guys are a new... Um, Anytime you're training, make sure when it gets close to one of those times, you pay a little bit more attention so you can hop on the enriched spring when it does spawn so you can get some more experience. So, yeah, that's just what uh, everybody that is training pretty much knows that, but yeah, that's what it is. And uh, one thing here is I get, I get like three energy per harvest, which is weird because before you use, usually only got one, or I think you got two at the uh, cannabis location. And at the um, mobilizing armies location, I think you got two as well. But here it's three, so yeah, that's why I have so much energy already, and I'm only the one level into the area. Uh, it's because of that. And I don't think I mean last night when I was training it, and when I got 81, I was kind of AFKing playing PS3 and other things, so I. Um, I didn't really pay attention to getting the enriched, so I haven't been using the right hand option to deposit enriched and um, and uh, energy lately. So, yeah. But other than that, guys, you can join my friends chat in Game of Zuda Seven if you want to talk to me. Um, I'll be in there usually when I'm online, and you guys can chat with me about divination or whatever you really want. Um, yeah, so yeah, or you can uh, also follow me on Twitter. I usually pretty much always tweet out when I'm making a video or when I level up divination. Just I've, I've been tweeting a lot more just because I don't know, I get bored and I'll just tweet about something random or whatever I'm doing during my day. So follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description if you want to do that. Same thing with my Twitch, but uh, I ha I'm not going to be live streaming for a while now because um, I don't really want to live stream divination and I, uh, um, I usually live stream my Majorat Master Series, but uh, I'm just taking a break from that while I'm training up divination. So yeah, but other than that, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Just wanted to make another one of these. A nice divination progress update thing. And um, I'll probably make another one of these type of videos, either at level 90 or 95. But it depends how long how, how long it takes me to get up there. And um, and how, uh, how different the experience rates end up being. But... Yeah, other than that, uh, I think my next video I'm going to upload is either going to be a Minecraft video or another Left 4 Dead video. The thing about the Left 4 Dead videos is I already have that entire game is finished recording. We finished recording that like a month and a half ago, and I've just been uploading the episodes whenever I get the chance to render one. So that's why I've been uploading those a little bit more often lately, just because I have them already pre-recorded, so I don't have to like get off uh, training, like stop training divination and go play a different game to get a video up, I can just keep training and, you know, have a video already ready, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think some of you guys actually like the Left 4 Dead videos, if you haven't watched them yet, you know, give them a try, they, I enjoy watching them myself, I watch them when I release them, because we recorded them a while ago, and I don't really remember what exactly happened, so I think it's pretty, uh, pretty funny and pretty fun to watch so yeah especially while you're like training or whatever you know you just give it a give it a check see if you like it there are currently eight episodes out in the series and plenty more to come so yeah but uh yeah i think i've been dragging out this uh outro for way too long so uh like and favorite enjoyed subscribe for your videos and i'll see you guys in the next one whatever it is probably either minecraft or left for dead and then after that i'll upload another runescape video see you guys then peace